Hey there, Emmanuel here from WebDevFuel and in today's video you're going to learn exactly how you can use protected routes inside your React application using the React Router library. Now if you're not aware of exactly what uh, a protected route is, it basically means that if we navigate here to local 1000, uh, localhost port 3000 and then we add here for example profile, our goal is for us to only be able to navigate to this page and see this component if we are logged in uh, and in this case if we have the state of logged in inside our react application now with that in mind let's go ahead and start going through all the steps that you need in order to set up protected routes using react router dom now the first thing that you want to make sure and i've already done this inside this project is you want to start by first of all installing react router dom and you also want to install the types for React Router DOM since we're going to be using TypeScript throughout this tutorial. Now, after you install also React Router, the types as a dev dependencies and you install React Router DOM, then you can go ahead and start building your protected routes. And here's exactly the components that we're going to be using. I've already set them up so we don't lose time. Uh, setting them up and we can start uh, right away by going into how to build the protected routes now what uh, we're going to do is basically we're going to have here this profile uh, component that we're going to display if the person is logged in and then we're also going to have here this login uh, page with a button that we can click and log in a new user that we're going to be not only displaying if the person is not logged in so if the state uh, of is off is false but we'll also be using this page in order to then log in the user now let's start by first of all setting up our app.tsx component which is the main component that is going to redirect our application depending on the route first of all let's start by importing browser router uh, from react router dom and we're going to import it as router so we can use it here with the name of router and then we also want to import route and switch which is basically a way for us to to match the first route that we find inside um, so basically if you add the switch all of the children inside uh, of switch which are route are going to uh, it is only going to be matching the first one so with that in mind first of all we need to add here the router and then inside the router we're going to add a switch and inside our switch we're going to add the children which first of all we're going to start by adding here route and the path to route is going to be login and then we're going to display the following component now instead of simply adding here component like this we could go ahead and import the login and simply do this but we also want to pass in here the set it of um, function so we can then from this login component uh, basically alter the state and set the is of as um, true so in order to do that instead of simply adding there the login component we're going to be passing in here a function and then we're going to add here the login as a component and in here we can go ahead and set here set is off which is going to be set is off and for now this is still giving here an error and that's because we're now going to go inside our login file and start altering it and also add all of the types in order to make sure that this doesn't complain anymore now let's go ahead and change here the login and the login is going to be a react that functional component and this basically means that the type of component that this is is a react functional component fc stands for functional component and then in here we're going to pass in the props which we're going to now go ahead and create and the props are basically the following this is very simple we simply need to add here set is off which again is the function that we pass in here to alter the state of is off and to make sure that we can log in a new user and then in here we simply pass the type as react.dispatch and then the dispatch type of react.set state action and the state is of boolean type true or false so that's exactly what we need to pass in here 
And as you can see now, the app, uh, the app component uh, in here is not complaining anymore. The login component, to be more specific, is not complaining anymore. And that's because we've defined here on the props, this thing right over here, which is now defining the type. Now, with that in mind, we can go ahead and in here, pass into this object, the set is of function. And now we can go ahead and set up everything that we need in order to log in a new user once they click on this button. Now, in order to do that, let's simply go ahead and pass in here um, a function. And we're going to be using the following function in order to handle the login. Now, we're going to simply create here a function to encapsulate uh, this logic. And then in here, we want once someone clicks on that, that button, we want to first of all set the, um, the is of state as true and we also want to go ahead and import in here the history and then we're going to use here this hook of use history and then inside our handle login function we can go ahead and push into the history the path of profile. And with all of this done, we can go ahead and add here our handle login function. Now, here's exactly what's happening here. Basically, we're going to click on this button. And then once we click on the button, this is going to redirect to our uh, profile path right over here, which is then going to redirect to our protected route, meaning that not only are we going to add here the ease of as true to make sure that, it, that we can navigate to the protected route, but we also will automatically redirect the, uh, the visitor there to make it all automatic so the person doesn't have to manually then go ahead and type uh, the profile path. Now we can navigate to the protected route and we can go ahead and start creating our component that is basically going to encapsulate all of the logic in order for us to have a protected route. Now you could this, do this manually for each one of your components but the idea behind this is that we want to encapsulate all of this logic. Now the first thing that we want to do is start by first of all creating here an interface that we'll call props and then we want to extend this interface. Now if you're not aware extending an interface uh, it's extends. Uh, extending an interface on uh, TypeScript basically means that we want to add next to all of its values all of the, the things that an interface contains. We want to extend it by adding an, uh, something else that we also need uh, on this interface and then this interface basically inherits all of these values and we also add down here uh, our values that we want to add. Now we want to, uh, to extend the interface of route props and as you can see it automatically imported here from react router DOM and then what we want to add is basically the uh, is off of boolean which basically means that we want to pass here to this protected route um, via the props um, a parameter that basically tells us if the offer the if the user is off or not if it is logged in or not now with that in mind this time we're not going to add it here to the react that functional component we're simply going to pass in here an object and then we can simply add here the props now we're going to basically pass again the is off and then we're going to deconstruct here the rest of the props and we're going to go ahead and call this uh, root, uh, route props. Now here's exactly what this means. This basically means that we're going to pass in the is off value uh, on this object and then we're going to, if you're not aware of this deconstruction in JavaScript, it basically means that this value right over here, if we add here the three dots before it, we're telling it that this value is going to be every uh, all other object keys and values, uh, but without this one. Basically, if we added here another one, so for example, if we had here another another um, param, we'd also be uh, basically deconstructing all of these values, we'll be accessing all of the values of props uh, without the is of and without the another param and that's the reason that we're doing this uh, this way so that uh, so that we can next in the next step basically pass uh, the route props to a new route down here. Now let's go ahead and do this and in order to do that we're going to simply pass in here if is of 
So basically, if the uh, if there's a user, we want to return, just like I said, here a new route. So again, the route just automatically imports from React to Router DOM, and then in here we're going to simply pass the route props, meaning that we're going to pass all of the props that are going to come from here from our route uh, without this uh, is of uh, value right over here. So all of them, this one is not going to be passed. So that's exactly what we want. And now if there's not a user existed, so basically if the is of is false, we want to go ahead and simply type here redirect, which is going to redirect us to the login page. So basically if someone tries to visit this page and it doesn't work, they are going to be automatically redirected back to the login page, meaning that this route here that we have is going to be protected and then the component that we pass to this protected route is more specifically that component is going to be protected. And now the final step we are almost over is to simply add in here our protected route. So let's go ahead and import the protected route. And as you can see, it is now complaining because we don't have the is of, which again, we've set up right over here and it is mandatory. So if we did this, it would not be mandatory, but since we left it like this, the is of is mandatory. And that's another reason why TypeScript is really great. You'll never forget to add the is of here because uh, VS Code or another editor that you use will always complain once you forget. So let's go ahead and pass in here the is off. And as you can see, it is now not complaining anymore. Then we're going to set the path of profile. And then we're also going to pass in here the component, which is going to be the profile component. And again, it automatically imported right over here. So again, we have here our protected route encapsulated with all the logic that we need. And now if we navigate back to the browser and we go ahead and try to refresh the page, you're going to see that we went ahead and we navigated here to our profile path and it automatically redirected us to login. And if you go ahead also and inspect here our component, you'll be able to see that the state, as you can see, is now fa false. And this state basically represents the is off. And if you go ahead and click here on login, you are now logged in, meaning that we are now able to access this uh, route right over here. And again, if you refresh, this is not being persistent, uh, neither on the local storage, uh, nor on another place. So we're going to automatically be sent back to the login page. And if we click here, we are now automatically logged in. As you can see, it is pretty simple for us to add a protected route inside of a React application using React Router DOM, and especially with TypeScript, since we are uh, always being reminded to not forget and we make sure that we don't uh, get a lot of errors on our code, that makes it especially uh, simple and effective. So with that in mind, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it taught you exactly how to create protected routes inside of React using the React Router DOM. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like in the comments below. Uh, leave a like below. Let me know in the comments exactly what you liked about it or if you want to see something else in the future. And also subscribe for more content like this.